Okay, so I'm actually broadcasting from the youth hostel, and yeah, I know, I'm 38. I'll be 39 next month, so 2016 is going to be the last year that I'm not 40, and all my older friends, because I have a lot of older friends, are probably laughing and pointing and getting super annoyed, but I wanted to show you a little haul that I got from today. Now, if you notice, I'm changing colors. Right behind the camera is a wall that has LEDs and kind of a frosted glass thing, and they keep changing colors. So you, I'm not in a disco, I promise you, although it, it kind of would appear that way. But um, I went out to Hohokus. I like saying it. It looks like Hohokus if you're from the south, um, but it's actually Hohokus, New Jersey. You go through Secaucus. See, I can say it like... Uh, I belong here. Um, <laughs> but anyway, very pleasant little train ride out there to American Eagle Martial Arts, uh, Mixed Martial Arts and Kettlebells. And immediately over there is a giant kitchen where you can cook things or you can be like uh, me and Amber a few days ago, reheating our leftovers from the Thai restaurant. So... Anyway, it has been below freezing. There's a tiny bit of snow on the ground outside, but not enough for me to go and get my bikini and do another one of those workouts. But I have not ruled that out for this year, so stay tuned. Anyway, I want to show you what I got, what I'm going to have for a late dinner. First off, yeah, I know. Look, I work until 2 or 3 on the computer. That's, gosh, this looks stupid, but whatever. Anyway, and, uh, you know, I'm going to admit some of uh, what I do. So, Viva La Instant Espresso. I've got some nice hot boiled water that I made over there. And that's going to keep me going to show you what I've got to show you. First off, the non-edible items. And these are from Phil Ross, Master RKC Phil Ross, who owns American Eagle MMA and Kettlebells. First off, very cool t-shirt. And I realize that's backwards, but I'm sure you can figure it out. And in the back says, bring out the beast in you, kettlebellking.com. And Kettlebell King is also Phil's Twitter handle. So go and check it out out there. Um, I also recorded a podcast with him and his daughter. And it's a lot of fun because anyway, Nicole and I, or Nikki and I, sorry, Nikki. I'm stuck with calling you Nicole because I see this out on, on Facebook. So anyway, Nikki and I were talking about um, nutrition and the degree she's working on in dietetics and our favorite training moves and luckily in comes dad and there he is, Master RKC Phil Ross and he joins us right into the podcast like we planned it and we did not, okay, it was not staged. Everything straight through one take. I just encoded it um, when I got off the subway and grabbed some mixed nuts. The other thing I got while I was out there was the infamous Phil Ross kettlebell workout library. I've been told there is like 20 hours of video footage in here and there's also a little book and I'm going to show you what that is. This is kind of like a live stream unboxing. So Jess, I know you love unboxing and I hope that you're watching. So if this works and doesn't crash my phone, I might be doing more of these because this is kind of fun. I mean, it helps I've got this fun background. But anyway, so you get this cool little manual. And it's wire bound so it lays flat. And like, for instance, here's some of the workouts. And everything that's in here that you can't read because it's backwards is in the video DVDs, which, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, he wasn't joking. There are like 20 hours of DVDs. Wow, I'm so glad I bought a new DVD player. <laughs> My old one died, and I would be so frustrated if I got home and I couldn't watch these. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that, and I'll be posting a full review of this. Uh, it might take me a while, considering uh, how much DVD footage we're talking about, but this is Master RKC Phil Ross. I recently-ish maybe like half a year ago, reserted um, our KC level two at his gym. And that was a lot of fun. I learned a lot and I got a lot from that. Um, all right, so with no further ado, it's time for dinner. At the Whole Foods, of course. A very awesome close friend of mine gifted me a giant um, Whole Foods gift card for Christmas and I saved it because I knew I was coming up here and I was gonna be up here for a while. 
First off, I've got some lemon sparkling water. It doesn't have anything gross in it. It's just, you know, and I got two of them. I love lemon sparkling water with coffee. Someday, if I ever decide to settle down and actually have a house, I'm going to have a built-in espresso machine and a built-in um, carbonated water type of thing, not a soda stream, like an actual tap. One of my favorite coffee places have those. I, I think it's fantastic. Okay, so, ah, first off, I've got some three-month-old manchego cheese, delicious. I believe this is uh, sheep's milk. Gotta love that. I had some sheep's milk chocolate the other day, and I was generous enough to share some of it with uh, Angelo Grinchieri. Grin I know I said it wrong. I'm sorry, Angelo. Please don't judge. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, he's has an upcoming book, Intrinsic Strength Training, which is a lot of fun. I've actually read it, and uh, you'll hear more about that later. Okay, for dessert... Coco Bezos. I've been to this factory, Taza. It's fantastic. It's in Somerville, um, Massachusetts. And a friend of mine used to live near there. Actually, that's Amber. And she got me totally hooked on these. They are on sale right now at Whole Foods. Go get them. You will not be sorry if you like dark chocolate and coconut. And the, co the uh, chocolate's got a really cool texture. You see it says, well, probably backwards for you, but it says stone ground. So delicious. This is for breakfast tomorrow. Um, as far as protein bars go and as far as like meal replacement bars right now, other than Ramaka bars, I really like these. Um, I like Ramaka, Ramaka bars the best and I'll put a link somewhere for you, but um, these are great. There's actually 20 grams of protein in these. Um, it is vegan, so if you have a hard time uh, processing plant protein, you might have difficulty with these. This is like, for me, it works really well. There's no soy, so you don't have to worry about any sort of hormone possible issues. So anyway, the 22 days, and it's the ones that are in the gold packages that have the 20 grams. The other ones don't have quite as much protein, so I'm like, eh, why bother, right? Okay. Now, speaking of protein... They didn't have a lot of things on the hot bar that were super protein-tacular, so I got some roast beef. I made the little guy cut it up for me, and it's got, um, it's the herb one, so it should be pretty good. And I don't remember which one of these is which. One of them is hot, and the other one is cold. And they kind of contain some things that I normally don't eat, but I'm on vacation, and I uh, did also do quite a bit of stuff today, a ton of walking, and most importantly, after I took a conference call, I did still have time to join in uh, with Phil Ross's small group class today, and granted, I saw what was on the whiteboard, it would have been very easy to be like, oh, Phantom still be on the conference call, but I, of course, had to rise to the occasion, learned a neat new drill um, called the swing squat, and it's not what you're thinking, it's nothing... It's not like a bad swing on YouTube, okay? So don't worry. It's pretty neat. It almost has like an element of pre-juggling to it. It takes a little bit of coordination, and it's not something that I would do um, with neighbors downstairs. So you may want to try the squat, swing squat outdoors for the first time. I know when I practice it, I will probably only be practicing it outdoors. Okay, I hope this is supposed to be the cold one and it didn't just get frozen um, on my way back on the subway. As I discovered, there was nowhere to eat at the Chelsea Whole Foods. Not cool, guys. Okay, so I have a selection of salad items in here. I've um, got a little bit of, of hummus. You know, I'm not strict paleo. I do still like my hummus on occasion. I'm going to just put, put you guys down in here, okay? I'm sorry. And I've got some... Can you see that? Okay, i got some mixed greens. got some hummus. Somewhere in here, there is some tabbouleh, a stuffed grape leaf, and... Oh, it's like an Easter egg hunt, right? There's a hard-boiled organic egg, and there's, of course, like a tomato um, thing on top. All right. 
I hope that <laughs> I hope that focused. That was really dorky of me. So um, the next thing I want to show you is from the hot bar, and I hope it's still hot because it's like 25 degrees out there. And now this is really stuff I don't obviously, I, I really don't eat this at all. Um, I'm a little scared of it, but it looked really tasty. I have, <laughs> okay, so sag paneer. Um, so it's spinach and cheese, it's that Indian dish. So I've got a little bit of that. I've got a little bit of vegetable biryani that's on top of, and then a potato samosa. Probably ensuring that I will get zero work done tonight, which is not cool. But I'm going to fight the power. Okay, so I have a real problem about eating in front of people when I don't know that you're eating. So I'm going to sign off for now. And let me know what you think of these live broadcasts. I can't see what I'm doing right now, so hopefully nobody's saying anything too mean. As the, all right, I'm going to turn this around so you can see that disco light. I, you can see why my face is changing color. You ready? Here we go. Is that funny or what? I kind of want to put one in at home. And we also have these really cool. Check out these lights. It's like some kind of, you know, crazy Euro disco. Woo, woo, woo. Depending on how deserted it is at some odd hour upstairs, maybe we'll do a little bitty, itty bitty, tiny body weight boot camp. Um, let me know if that's something that interests you or not. And all right, well, it's, it's time to eat. Got my roast beef, got my cheese, and we'll see how much of this I don't eat. Um, I'm going to try to eat half of it, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Leave, again, leave me your comments below, and let me know what you think. And if you don't like these, also let me know what you think, because it's just as easy for me not to do them and to just do all the other stuff. So... Oh my gosh, how do I...